Hello, my name is Carla Qualls, and my research paper was over the association between a 10-week mindful-based yoga and meditation program and healthy coping skills in Texas female inmates. So individuals who are often involved in criminal activity and or sentenced to prison are typically noted to have a lack of basic life coping skills. Uh, the prison environment also poses significant challenges for Texas female inmates, particularly in terms of their coping skills, mental health, and the likelihood of reoffending. Many Texas female criminals come from disadvantaged backgrounds where they have experienced poverty, abuse, and neglect. These type of environments can limit their exposure to problem-solving skills and healthy coping mechanisms. Also, the confined and off, often hostile environment of prison can add increased aggression with female inmates as they struggle to navigate the power dynamics and prison population pressures within prison walls. Some offenders have faced limited education and employment opportunities, which further limit their ability to develop healthy coping skills. Substance abuse is another common issue among criminals and often serves as a maladaptive coping mechanism in itself. Drug addiction and alcoholism can impair an individual's judgment and hinder their emotional regulation and contribute to criminal behaviors. So the research question was, what is the association between a 10-week mindful-based yoga meditation program and the development of healthy coping skills in Texas women inmates? The independent variable is the implementation of the 10-week rehabilitation based yoga and meditation program. And the dependent variable is, of course, the lack of basic healthy coping mechanisms in the females who engage in criminal activity and or who become incarcerated. So the method used was a quasi research method was initiated as well as a longitudinal survey was implemented as well. There were two groups of participants between two prisons. Each prison had two groups, a participant group as well as a control group that were non-participants. So the inmates were observed at the beginning of the program, the midpoint of the program, the end of the program, and as well as a year follow-up. So some of the limitations to, um, to the uh, program included um, safety risk issues with the certified yoga instructors, um, also the inmates and uh, the prison staff as well. And the limitations, the limitations also included uh, the notion that inmates may be willing to participate in the study to uh, ha uh, having an additional opportunity just uh, to go to recreation and be able to leave their unit. So that was uh, an issue as well. Um, it, also, if inmates were released and move and become transient to various geographical areas, which typically sometimes happens uh, with felony participants, they may move out of state and it could possibly be difficult to locate them uh, in another state and track them down. Uh, the conclusion of this study uh, found that uh, the research of the 10-week uh, mindfulness-based uh, yoga program uh, did reduce anxiety, depression, and aggression, and reduce recidivism in Texas female inmates. And this uh, Kennesaw social workers uh, who within the pr uh, who work within the prison system be able to provide information on the program and assist inmates in developing healthy coping skills through the program and help them be successful once they parole. Thank you.